When I first started playing this game, I felt like I was doing it, everything wrong, and I mean, some of the things I was definitely doing wrong, but I finally managed to maybe figure it out, and I'm gonna tell you guys today how to make your first little bit of money in Rival Stars Horse Racing. First things first that I have to say is do not be afraid to lose some to gain some. You're gonna have to spend money to make money and it can be really scary because as you guys can see right now I actually don't have 100k but I'm gonna insert a clip right now of me gaining 100k. And then just a few seconds later, because I leveled up again, I had to spend a bunch more money. And then after that, I did actually manage to get up to almost 200k again, but then I had to spend more money. But once you get to 100k, 200k, etc, etc, it's actually super easy to stay up there at 100k. I'm going to show you how right now by getting maybe over 100k right now with you guys. I thought that I would start off by showing you guys the amount of playtime that I have. I have 6.7 hours. But I probably got my first 100k probably like two hours ago and even then I reckon you guys could do this even quicker because I made some bad financial decisions just spur of the moment. If you guys don't make those bad financial decisions that I did then you'll probably be making a lot more money than I did in less amount of time. Before we start off this video as well, I just want to quickly say that this is for the desktop version. People in my last video said you should have gotten the mobile version, but personally I don't like playing games on my phone that much and I prefer it on a bigger computer screen. Second off, I heard that it was actually so much easier and more fun to play on the desktop version because you pay for it, you pay for it on Steam, it's so much easier to make money because you've kind of already bought the game I guess, if that makes sense, but making money on the desktop version is going to be so much easier than the mobile version, so if you can, I definitely recommend the desktop version, but let's just get into some more tips and stuff. The next thing I want to say is... I did not know you could do that, is of course I'm not a professional, I'm literally only level 8 and honestly I got my first 100k maybe like 2 levels ago or something, I can't quite remember, you guys will see it in the video. But I might get some stuff wrong and therefore in the comments below if you read any other tips you'll be making so much more money but I'm gonna try and tell you everything that I have learned about making money. The first thing that you really need to do is do your quests. It can be really scary because quests and goals I should say goals they make you lose money you have to upgrade stuff but I haven't upgraded my homestead that much but in what I have upgraded every 50 minutes I can get 25,000 look at that 100k if you upgrade and do your goals then you can upgrade your homestead and you can get a lot of money in just 50 minutes so if you're doing homework Rival Stars Horse Racing will collect your money even when you're not open in the game. So maybe if you're doing your homework, set your timer for every 50 minutes, come in, collect max payouts, you'll be making bank in an hour. So after you've done your goals and stuff, there's also daily goals, but they don't give you money. So I'm just going to get rid of that. The blinky was annoying me. The next thing that I'm going to tell you guys to do is be financial. Don't make dumb mistakes like I was telling you guys about. Now, I, obviously because I'm a higher level, I've got quite a few more races than maybe you have right now. But one tip that I have is to do the race that you can do, which has the most amount of money. So as you guys can see here, it goes pretty standard in this first three oaks um, racing. But some of my other races, I'll see if I can show you guys. Sometimes 
it doesn't there we go here in the yarra park race this race two which is easier than race three is actually gonna give me a lot more money so when i first like grinded my money i only had the parsons race unlocked so you these races are super good for then as you guys can see here though 12,600. i'm gonna see if i've got a good horse for this okay i've got a very good horse for this the next thing that I didn't do when I first started really playing, as you guys might have seen in my first video, was I wasn't betting on myself, but just do it, just do it. Financial bad decisions that I make is I always bet to win, because even if I come second, I'm still going to gain the money back that I spent on the bet, but I just won't get any extra money. Like, I'll get a little bit extra. But I, in my own opinion, I feel like maybe it's better to always bet win because I'll get the most amount of money. And if I come second, I'm still not going to lose money. But always make sure that, like, you're not going to lose. Bad financial decisions that I've made is I went into races that would give me a lot of money. Because if you're further down the list, people with higher odds means that if you win, you get a higher bet back to you. So I was trying to do that. Sometimes it worked, but sometimes it didn't. So if you really want to make money fast, then don't do that and only enter races that you can actually win and just grind them out. Just grind them out. So I'm going to go ahead and place that bet, start race, and hopefully... Hopefully I'm going to win. We'll have to see. In future games though, make sure, like in future videos, let me know if you guys like me showing you guys the race. Because some of you guys might not like watching the full races. I'm trying to get to the front here. My racing technique might, might be a little weird, so I'm not going to tell you guys how I race and stuff. But yeah. in first place. Descending Brock not in their ideal position. Despair full. Next, Ferocious Flourish in fourth place. Heads up and down with Meek Marmalade. Blessed Backbone maintaining the lead. Descending Brock getting into a good spot. A length away, it's Ferocious Flourish. Dignified Thistle pushing past horses. Pounding down the course, it's Blessed Backbone. Descending Brock with a brilliant turn of foot. On their back is Charming Caramel, Ancient Tomato, in 17th, two lengths away, it's Cupcake Town. Still going, it's Blessed Backbone, Descending Rump, not happy where it is, just behind, it's Charming Caramel. Blessed Backbone, leading the field, three lengths behind, it's Despair Bull. At the top of the straight, it's Descending Rump, Despair Bull, Kiss. And there we go, we came first from this race. We have made a whopping 12,600 and 14,850. You guys, you might not have the Yarrow Park race, but do the races which give you the most amount of money that you have available. I, when I first was doing this, I was just doing all of the highest races because I thought that they always gave me the most money until I realized that they don't always give you the most amount of money. So since I've already hit almost the 200k mark before, I am going to have races that I can do more that give me more money but since you haven't hit 100k yet you will probably only have about race two unlocked maybe maybe even just race one maybe even over e even only these races but if you grind them out and you just train your horse let me tell you train your horse because if you start winning first bet bet on yourself like you need to bet on yourself to make the most amount of money i really hope that i'm making sense i'm not a professional at this game i'm just saying my own experience of how I made 100k. It's just kind of like a sequel to my last video if you guys want to see me playing this game for the first time. So I just thought it would be fun to share my experience on actually learning how to play this game and it's really fun and I played a lot of that hours yesterday. Also thank you everyone who gave me tips in the last video. I did actually figure a lot of them out off screen before I posted that video but thank you everyone who- someone gave me really good breeding tips so thank you for that. I'm probably gonna make a breeding video in the future if you guys want to see that. Some of you guys did help me though because I wasn't sure if I should be staying close to the fence or to the outside and you guys did tell me stay close to the fence because you've got less of a distance to ride so that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm like being cornered by horses so I can't get past them which is kind of annoying. 
out of my way. I need to get through. Beast comfort, gaining momentum and flying through. Miniature burst is coming with a huge run. Descending drop in 12th place. The race continues. I'm really stuck in here. I need to get out. There we go. We're free. In seventh, one length behind, it's Ostrich Harnum. If you guys want me to explain what I'm doing when I'm racing, then I can make a video on that as well. But for now, maybe I'm still doing this pretty bad. I have a feeling we're not going to win. Oh no, oh no. Did we do it? Oh my gosh, look at that! I like saving the best ones. I've got some really good photo finish um, pictures. So yeah, this is basically what I did. I was on the phone with my sister and I was just doing all of the races that I could, leveling up my horses and doing goals and stuff. So I'm going to keep doing that with you guys and we'll see how much money we can make. My horse can also be trained up. So now I'm going to show you guys that you then have to spend your money. Look, training can be expensive. But if you keep doing it, look, I hadn't even trained up my horse that much. But we're about to spend all of our money. But it's totally worth it because this will unlock races which get you so much more money. We've unlocked some goals, like some skills. I don't use the skills a lot. They kind of confuse me a little bit. So I bet if you guys use the skills, you might be a better racer than I am. Let's see if I've got a horse that can beat this guy now. Because these races will give you like the best money. Ooh, okay, they're still quite a bit ahead of me, but I can't train this horse any higher. So let's just do it. I do bet for top two. This will give me 42,000, 21,000. See, I just, I'm just going to go for it. I'll still probably make my money back. So let's see if I just made a bad financial decision. This is what I mean by bad financial decisions. Don't do this if you only want to see the money go up. As I said before, you got to lose some to win some sometimes. <laughs> I always forget that I can skip that intro bit. I'm always sitting there. Off they go. Comfortable castle. Away well. Descending drop is showing early speed. Descending drop still in the lead. Half alibi in second place. Daggers deputy in third place. Trying not to be outstripped by gadget wisdom. Stride for stride with. Did I go to the wrong side? I think I'm on the wrong side. Man, they're so smart. We came third. Okay, so we didn't get our extra money, but we did, we didn't lose any money. We just didn't get extra money. Okay, Richard. Okay. And now that we have, oh, we haven't leveled up yet. Okay, well, that's fine. Train speed 10 times. I hate these little things. As you guys can see, I still have like my first few horses and I don't want to get rid of this horse because apparently it's a rare color and I think it's really pretty. So I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of this one, but I've got like level three horses, level one horses still, and I'm only up to level five. So I think we should start training this level five horse. It's so hard. I have so many horses and I just don't know which ones to race. But I think it's about having the firm and like all the different types of lengths and also, what is it called? Like surface thing. Let's collect some payouts. Maybe we'll get close to 100,000 again. But as you guys can see, I haven't done much and we've gone up past 100,000 and then we've come back down again. Sometimes I look at TJ's picks one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Do I have a horse that can do it? Yeah, I do. Where's this horse at? And this is going to give us, once again, just doing run race is going to get me back over 100,000. So, and that's because I've already hit 100,000. You guys will have to like hit your first milestone. So hit 50K and then you'll have to spend some, but then it'll be easy to hit 50K again. You guys might be kind of annoyed because I'm not in my preferred position. And I realized that and I know that I should be, but I also know that my sprint level is going to be full by the time I get to 200 meters, the final sprint. So it'll be fine. And look, I, I won by a long time and I, I wasn't in my preferred position. So, and my horse can now be maxed as well. I should probably train my level five horse though, which I think I have. I just haven't done any racing. <laughs> So let's see which horse my level, 
my level five horse probably cannot go in a high race. I forgot to check the money amount. 2000, see 2,500 versus 3,500. And I've got the best odds in this one, but the distance is a bit long, but YOLO. It can be a little bit, I at least I find a little bit annoying to have to train my best horse from level one again to have another best horse and not do races which give me a lot of money but i know that in the end it'll be worth it and look we won from by far a little bit so that's pretty good now i think i did buy this horse off the market which is why it's you can't train it to level five straight off the back because it wasn't my foal which is kind of annoying but it's just what we have to deal with Gotta spend some to win some. Remember you guys, training can be so expensive. Okay, I for sure do not have best odds in this one. But I'm capped on this race, so I can't bet on myself. So I might just race in this one. Might as well spend a bit. See, this is the bad financial decisions that I make. I do not recommend, but I might as well try. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Don't do what I do. Just come to me for like a tutorial, but like don't listen to the tutorial. I think I made a mistake, but we will have to see. I made a mistake! I made a mistake! <laughs> Did I get profit? I don't even know if I got profit. <laughs> it leveled up my horse though, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Just level up my horse. Unfortunately, we are capped on this one, but I don't know if we should do it still. Also, it's a, it keeps being annoyed because of the 2000 thing, but I don't know why. Like, I know because my horse isn't built for that, I guess, but it still wins, so. Also, my game might be a little bit laggy because I'm currently rendering a video, so yes. If this horse was a middle preferred thing, then this would be fine right now, I reckon. Okay, so we failed the game. And I don't think we made profit. Maybe we'll level up. Level up, please. Yeah. Hopefully this time we'll win this race. Because we've got the highest bets now. The highest, what's it called? Odds. I don't know anything about horse racing. There we go. Bad financial decisions are over now. And we've leveled up to level 6, so we can do the good races with the good money now. Hey, see, this horse likes this race, so this will be good. I also always ride me. I've never hired a jockey before because I don't want to give them my money. And I feel like I can race. I know how to race. If I come first when I actually, you know, have the odds to and I don't make stupid mistakes, financial decisions, I should say, then I'm a pretty good jockey myself. Oh, the lag. The lag is not fun for cl cl clicking the space bar. There we go. And I have quite the way to go for training this horse. But a level 5 is worth it. It's not a mare, which is a... Is it a mare? Wait a second. Maybe it is a mare. I can't remember. Actually, I think it is a mare. Yeah, okay. We're fine. Because I had a bunch of... I really struggled to get some horses because I kept getting stallions and I don't know how to breed a stallion to get the foal like you can only breed a, your own stallion to your own mare at least that's all I know how to do it um this horse here is level three I think I'm gonna sell it I'm sorry bye bye and I haven't really ridden this horse here. Medium. So we've got medium ground, we've got firm ground, and we've got muddy is also firm ground, which is kind of annoying, but muddy is level five. I don't know, this whole racing thing, like I just do it, and if I win, I win, and I'll make money. <laughs> Probably not doing it too correctly. How are we going on our goal? Four more to go. But I think that is it for this video. If you guys have any more tips, let me know in the comments below. But that is how I've been getting my first 100k. And I'm slowly getting there for 200k. And once you hit 200k, I promise you guys, once you hit one money milestone, it's super easy to hit it again. 
like I'm gonna hit 200k and it'll be really easy for me to get back up to 200k with the time you guys just gotta race just race you can't sit back and the money will come to you you can kind of do that with this homestead thing but you still gotta put in the time to be able to level up to get the money kind of thing you know so if you guys found this somewhat helpful let me know in the comments below give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more rival stars horse racing videos but yeah i hope you guys are having an awesome day i've had an awesome day and i will see you guys in my next video thank you all so much for watching let's do a photo <laughs> bye